Hello all, Scott Grove here of GroovyMusicLessons.com uh, here with another free um, modification for you people out there who love to Frankenstein your guitars. Uh, the last one I showed you was simply, you know, where we took out some rows of pickups and some humbuckers and made them sound different than split coils or what have you, but they sounded like single coils that were totally quiet and a lot of you have used it and noticed how cool it is. Okay, this here's another one of those. Um, is this one irreversible? Um, in a way, but <laughs> it will leave permanent scars in your guitar. So if you have a player's guitar and you don't mind putting some holes in the headstock, we're okay. And yes, I did it with my favorite guitar. Yeah, old Pinky. My only player's guitar. So I put, you know, five or six new holes just trying to find the right place for them today in the headstock. There you go. Okay. These two here were left over from another string tree like the old Fender here. There was another one there. So those weren't... I just didn't need the string tree anymore so I took that off a long time ago. But as you'll see what I've done here and I don't even have all the ones. You can see I moved one here, I moved one here, put it over here. But I put three screws in. Okay. You can see that my low E string is going under the flat head of a screw. Uh, you can't use ones that have the beveled edges underneath the head because it'll slide right out. Okay, so what's actually going on here is you can see that the string is going under and getting stuck underneath the edge of that screw. And on my A string, it's doing the same thing. So what it does is I actually tune my low E string down to D when it's not stuck under there. Okay, and then I put the screw in keep tightening the screw while looking at the tuner until it, you know, it catches underneath there and keep tightening it on the tuner until it goes to E. Okay, so then when I pull it back out and it just flops normally, <laughs> you know how normal floppage goes, it'll be a D again. Then I put it back under there, just with one finger, just boom, you're done. Then you're back into regular pitch. A, so you have the A string, you tune it down to G, you put the screw in your headstock, back somewhere where you can grab it. Okay, you'll see where I've I missed the first one and it didn't do what I wanted to so I just moved it back this way. I will put some um, toothpick in there and glue it and sand it a little bit and make it look all pretty again but right now everything is just what it is. The tape is to shut up the G string because on all Stratocasters if you do not have a string tree there you do get a harmonic real high like on your fifth fret from here to your tuning peg, it's actually tuned in G and it actually rings really high. You hit a note, bing, you know, a chord, G chord, and stop it just quick, it will go, psh, it sounds like feedback. So if you ever wonder what that noise is, just put a little piece of tape on there or something to shut it up. Uh, you'll see people also who just put a, you know, scrunchie or a hairband around here to shut that same thing up, especially on bass guitars. And then I did this again and I didn't even use a Phillips screw here. I was just looking for anything that worked so I can show it to you now. Then I'll clean all this up later and make it look like it never happened. But this is for y'all's benefit. I know there's easier ways to do this but this is a quick easy way for the poor boy to take his old guitar and have some good fun with it. Another screw here on the high E. Again I tuned it down to D. Okay, then I just put the screw in, kept turning it down, you know, screwing it down until it went up to E again. So when it's underneath there, it's back to E regular. I take it, you know, just move it out of the way, and let it flop there, then it goes down to D. Okay, so what's the adventation, or what's so great about all this? Okay, you already know, I think. We can do all the drop D tuning stuff without having to drop anything. Okay, of course, that's always a beautiful thing. So what I have is, here's the guitar in normal tuning. Okay, now if I just wanted to do the drop D thing, um, like everybody does, just reach up here, grab your string that is stuck underneath the screw there, just grab it, and you pull it out. So, let me do my other hands, much stronger. There, on there. for like my country stuff I always have to do a lot of drop D there's a song called um, Mercury Blues and it would take me forever to get the drop D I don't know why I know they make the little um, hip shot thing where you can do it on the D string but I need it on a bunch of strings 
and I don't necessarily need a whole step. I need half steps and I need, you know, other things, you know, for me. But you guys can do ha however you want. But again, if any old guitar that you don't mind, you're not going to screw it up. You're just going to put holes in it. And like I said, then you can always break off a toothpick with some glue in there. Put it back in, sand over it real nice, and it'll look real pretty. You know, one can of um, car um, grade, you know, automotive grade clear coat, and it'll look like brand new again. You'll never even know what happened. Um, but this is great, so I'm going to leave it the way it is until forever, probably. Um, so now I've got my drop D, and here I am on my country song. <laughs> So I'm right back to E that quick. Again, this is set it for me, and it's to put ideas in your head how you can do this for yourself. Again, so you can see how that's done. I know you can, but you know me, I over talk. Again, it's just underneath the head of the screw. Okay, so here I am in E. Now I gotta do a song in D. I just grab that and let go. Then put it underneath the head of the screw again. Okay, so one good tug every now and then like any other thing and you set it. Okay, same thing with the A string. It goes down to G when you let go of it. So I will pull it out. It's down to G. Good as that, check this out. I'm also going to do the high E string and pull it out from underneath here. Now it's open. Okay, so now I'm one, I'm actually five strings right now. If I don't use my low E string, which is still an E, I'm in an open G tuning. Okay, so I'm good for everything, but I'm going to do it one more thing. So I'm all Keith Richards ready right now. Just by doing those two, dropping the A down to G and dropping the high E down to a D, I'm going to drop my low E down to a low D again. Now I'm... So now I could just... Excited now. I am too. I just thought all this up last night. I'm sure it's been done, but probably not like this. You know, this here's how prototypes get done. You know, I've seen them done electronically, but as far as physically, um, this could be done up real easy with like what looks like an old Kaler nut. You know, the big thick locking nuts, and then you could actually use a um, Allen wrench to you know tune it each string to how far up and down it will go, but then use like a roller or a string, the ball end of a string underneath there. Use the island mesh to control how far down it pushes it. But have it like on a spring-loaded thing for each string and it would lock it down that would roll through there so that it would not catch any friction anywhere. So I, I got a guy that I know he can make me one in about a week. So I'm gonna have him try to do that but where I actually just push down on a button and it will stop mm -hmm. wherever I have preset the allen screw to make it stop, go down how far and then let up and it will go to whatever I set it at. So that'll be one eye. So you can set it for quarter steps, half steps, full steps, step and a half. And I can still bend behind the nut like I always have, even with these stupid screw things. But all inventions have to start somewhere. So I haven't, you know, seen this, but I'm sure somebody has done it. It just had to have been done. It just came to me in my sleep last night and I had to get up and start putting screws in my guitar. <laughs> okay, so anyway, so now we have it just totally going low D, low G, then our three middle ones, D, G, B, like normal, then your high E is now a D. So now you've got this.
different ways you could do it. So you could have some of them detuned, some of them normal. If you want to, of course I could just take my low D. Here it is. There it is, I put it back in. I'm gonna take my A. And it's under there. So now I'm back to normal, except for the high E string. Okay, so now it's... Okay, one of them will be out of tune. I just give both strings a little tug. And you're good. Okay, that's why the um, little string wheels to act as rollers would be better because they would not hang up on here. So as soon as you put them back under, if you give each string one tug, it will come back perfectly in tune. I've done this a bunch, trust me, before I turn this video on. But now I have my high E still in D. So right there, I could still play my regular slide stuff if I wanted to and only have an undone one string. Advantageous, advantageous it can be and again if you leave just that string down there a D and do your low E again <laughs> and I just dropped it to a low D and I gave it one tug okay now we've got well, you've got a D here too so if you want to add it play with all your drop tuning stuff I mean it's just a cool way to do it so just it's just cool man I just thought I had to, had to share it with you so again I'm just gonna drop the E up and now my low E up take everything and bend it once and I should be good about all there is if you want to shut it off that's what it is I put this screws in at a slight angle to make sure that they would not come out from underneath the head so you know the angle is kind of going this way so it really makes sure it holds it underneath the flat head bottom of those screws okay again so if I want to get that low E out of there I'll generally reach up with this hand push it down and out, give it one tug and you're ready to go. If it's not there. Or... Get it there and then you'll be fine. <laughs> you know, but it gets, like I said, without rollers, um, this is as close as I'm gonna get for a prototype of what I'm gonna end up doing to this guitar. And if somebody makes one of these already, let me know. I'd love to stick one on my guitar. But, like I said, it's just another free thing you can try. So give it a shout. Uh, give it a shot. Give it a shout. And pull it out. <laughs> Make sure nobody's looking unless you want them, want them to look. Undo everything, then... Did I even get my A? Nope, I didn't get my A out from underneath there. <laughs> It's like, why, why did that thing that sounds so good just go to sounding so bad? <laughs> there it is. And same, like I said, for your slides. Stones, five string things, you can leave your E where it is, whatever. So, again, Scott Grove here, GroovyMusicLessons.com, just showing you another. Um, I did this in like 10 minutes, put the screws in and throw it in because, you know, like I said, I stayed up at night and I just kind of thought what I would do and just got up and did it. So, it turned out really cool. And, like I said, I'll have my buddy build me um, the actual little nut thing I was telling you about with the rollers and show you that when it gets done. But so, at least I have a working prototype that I can show him how I want it to get done. So, anybody wants to try that or has a better way of doing it, please let me know because um, it'd be better for me too. Um, 
And if there's a product out there that does this already, um, let me know so I can get rid of all this, fix it, and put that on here, okay? <laughs> uh, you know, I might just be reinventing the mousetrap, and, you know, it's already been done. I know it's been done digitally several times, but um, give me a holler, okay? So enjoy screwing up your guitar, okay? <laughs> Scott Grove, GroovyMusicLessons.com for all the uh, madness and junk that you ever want to come over and check out, okay? I'm checking out right now. i got to go finish watching the uh, Colts versus uh, Peyton Manning over there with the... Colorado, so um, can't miss the game. Check you later. Bye. <laughs>